Hey there, I'm back again and today I'm going to be telling you how you calculate larger distances. So if you go on old videos, I told you already about how you work out with radar, I told you as well how you work out with parallax, and now we are going to see uh, what happens when I have stars, they are so far away that I cannot even measure the parallax angle, and therefore I need to use a, do a different way to calculate the distances, okay, or to estimate the distances. As you can see there, I can use the apparent brightness. It's not the, that, that I use just alone. And although today I'm going to focus on one of the uh, options that we have here below, uh, there are several options like safe variables, luminosities, type 1a, supernovae, okay? So, I told you, and this is how I ended uh, the last video, I believe, uh, that we could say that the further away the star was, then uh, the less, um, the less bright it will look from our point of view because you know it's like you having a flashlight uh, one meter away from a person and then having the flashlight uh, 10 centimeters from their face they obviously will feel that the flashlight 10 centimeters away from their face is much brighter than the other one 10 meters away right so we could say the brighter the star the closer it is to us However, the stars do have a different size and different temperature and they radiate different amount of energy. So that means that the actual luminosity of the star is different, okay? So different stars will have different luminosities, okay? And so this is a problem. There is another problem as well, with, which is there are some dust and gas between the Earth and the stars, so they absorb some of the light that gets to us, okay? So, first of all, we could say simply that uh, the energy that would get to us, uh, is go, um, that we would get, you know, in our distance of the Earth, was going to be equal to all the power that the star would give, divided by 4 pi, and then the distance of the star squared, but we could not just do that because stars have different characteristics. So we need to look at the luminosity of the stars. Now, luminosity by definition is the amount of energy that it radiates into space every second, okay? So joules per second, so it can be measured in watts, but sometimes we compare the star's luminosity with the luminosity of the sun, okay? So I can say that a star is twice as luminous as, it's, uh, as the sun, or a thousand times more luminous than the sun, okay? Now, I have a hot and big star that is going to radiate more energy than a star that is small and cool, right? So that means that the factors that affect luminosity are the temperature of the star, the hotter it is, the more energy it can radiate per second per square meter of the surface, and the size of the star, because the bigger the star, the greater the surface area that can emit radiation. All right, so I have luminosity. So I can relate luminosity to the absolute magnitude of the star. So we spoke already about apparent magnitude, which is a small m, and the apparent magnitude, a small m, is going to be the, how bright the star seems to be uh, as seen from Earth. Now the apparent, uh, the absolute magnitude is really how bright the star is, okay? So it would be the magnitude that I would see if the object would be at a standard distance of 10 parsec. So this is like me getting all the stars in the same distance and all the same distance of 10 parsec and then I could figure out which star is really more luminous or less luminous uh, by nature, so because of their uh, characteristics, the size and the temperature, okay? Now, of course, if I have a star at 10 parsecs uh, from us, then the apparent magnitude is equal to the absolute magnitude, okay? But what I want you to get from this slide is that the absolute magnitude is an absolute value, so it's really there, okay? Because it's always a standard distance of 10 parsec. So this really tells me how bright the star really is, so it tells me about the luminosity of the star. The apparent magnitude depends on the distance that the star is, okay, so it's not going to be an absolute value. So, the absolute in ma uh, magnitude and the luminosity, as I told you, they are related to each other, okay? So the absolute magnitude is a measure of the actual star's luminosity, so the total amount of energy that the star radiates every second. So that means that it's an intrinsic property, okay? So as it says on this side here, 
luminosity is a quantity that depends on the star itself, not how far away it is, like brightness was, right? So it is an intrinsic property. It has to do with the star. So for this reason, a star luminosity is going to tell you about the internal physics of the star. It tells you about the reactions that are happening in the, inside the star. And is very important, is a more important quantity than for me talking about how bright the star is, okay? So how do they relate? Look at this formula in here. I say that the brightness of the star, small b, because, you know, uh, is is not as important, let's say, as the luminosity, is equal to big L luminosity divided by 4 pi d squared, where d is the distance to the star, okay? So brightness, small b, is, uh, is related to the apparent magnitude, the small m. And L, big L for luminosity, is related to the absolute magnitude, the big M, okay? So this is how they relate to each other, okay? So... All that I need to do now is to measure the star's apparent magnitude, so how bright seems to be from the distance that uh, the star is, and I will be able to know the distance of that star if I know the absolute magnitude of the star. I will tell you later on how you figure out the absolute magnitude of the star, so you need to wait for another video, but I know the absolute magnitudes of the stars, I only need to pick off the apparent magnitude, and then I use this amazing formula. So, I say that the big M, so the absolute magnitude, equals the small m, the apparent magnitude, plus 5 minus 5 logarithm of the distance. And this logarithm is of base 10, okay? I don't want you guys to think that it's a logarithm E. That's at least when I was told it was ln, okay? So it's a logarithm base 10 of the, the distance, okay? You may see this formula in different shapes, um, but they all are right, okay? So uh, I may do a different video um, uh, to show you how this formula can be put into other shapes, okay? But here it is. So absolute magnitude is equal to the apparent magnitude plus 5 minus 5 logarithm of distance. And this distance, by the way, is going to be in parsec, okay? So it's not going to be in meters, uh, it's going to be in parsec. So, here's an example for you. Uh, so, I have, for example, the sun, and it has a small m, so an apparent magnitude of minus 26.8. And the sun is located at one astronomical unit, one AU, from us. So, one astronomical unit, uh, I'm telling you this for you to use in the questions, um, is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 13 in centimeters, which is 4.85 times 10 to the power of minus 6 parsecs. So if I want to know the absolute magnitude of the sun, all that I need to do is use the formula that I just showed you. So big M, absolute magnitude of the sun, equals small m minus 26.8 plus 5 minus 5 logarithm base, base 10 of the distance in parsec, 4.85 times 10 to the power of minus 6. And if I do this calculation, I get plus 4.77. It is important that I put a plus or a minus, okay? For example, in this exercise, the minus 26.8 is because the brighter the star seems to be, or the brighter the, uh, the magnitude, uh, sorry, the bigger the magnitude, the smaller the number. So they gave zero to the brightest star, six to the fainter star, and then we found stars that were brighter than the, the, the one that he part was uh, categorizing as the brighter star. So if they were brighter and zero, it was going to be the brightest that we had. If we found something even brighter, it had to be minus one, and then minus two, and so on, okay? So that's why it's minus 26.8 here, and then a magnitude, absolute magnitude of plus 4.77. I'm saying it plus because, again, plus is a star that would be less bright uh, than a minus 4.77. So be careful. Uh, do put the signs, okay? Uh, plus normally is not an issue, but put the signs anyway, even if it's a plus or a minus. Now, I also can relate the magnitude with the luminosity, okay? So just so you know, the absolute magnitude uh, is going to be um, 
plus 4.77 minus 2.5 logarithm of the luminosity of the star over the luminosity of the sun where one solar luminosity is going to be 3.9 times 10 to the power of 33 ergs per second okay so knowing the from the first formula the absolute magnitude i can relate luminosities as well okay all right i am actually going to do these laws in a different uh, video to separate things um, to separate the things so that's the end of the video for now it's going to be um on absolute magnitudes and luminosities and then i will go on the stefan and on vin's law okay so take care bye